In this video, I wanted to create an exact step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Photoshop, in particular, how to create the sticker that we just created in this video, which you can go and check out up here. If you haven't seen that video, go and watch that first and then actually watch this video because it's going to be really, really cool. And I'm just gonna be doing, I'm gonna be giving a full breakdown step-by-step -step on Photoshop. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. So we've opened Photoshop here. We want to create new. The size doesn't really matter because we're probably going to resize it anyway when it comes to actually uploading it onto Redbubble or whatever platform we want to use. So let's just use, you know, 2000 by 2000 pixels with 300 PPI, which is pixels per inch. Click create. Now I've already downloaded all the necessary files that I need. So I've downloaded the unicorn that I'm going to be using from Placeit. Placeit is a brilliant app. If you haven't ever used it, go and check it out. Link is in the description for 15% off, but it's a brilliant, brilliant app. Um, so I've downloaded that. I've also downloaded some other graphics because I needed some other graphics to make this work. So anyway, let's, I'm going to drag everything in and then we're going to get to work. Okay. So I now have all my files here. I've got the Christmas hat. I've got the unicorn with some other bits that I'm going to get rid of. Don't worry. And I've got the Christmas tree with also some other bits that I'm going to get rid of. So don't worry. So firstly, you can see that there's a little logo here on all of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to rasterize them all. So that logo can disappear. Click rasterize layers. Very simple. Now they're fully editable. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to hide the Christmas hat and we're going to hide the unicorn or let's rename the first. So just right click and we can click rename or what's easier is just to click the words twice. Right, we've got our three layers, very, very simple. So let's start by removing all of this excess waste from this image. So we want to go and select the rectangular marquee tool, make a simple box around it and then backspace. Make sure it's selected on the layer and then backspace and that should go. So now we've got our Christmas tree. That's one bit done. Now let's go and do the same thing for the unicorn. So we can move it by selecting this tool, which is just the move tool. Right, and then now we've got to go to the marquee tool again, make another box and get rid of the excess waste that was downloaded with place it. Right, now the next thing we've also got here, we've also got a flower and a star. We're going to get rid of both of those. So we can use this marquee tool again, just backspace and backspace, which is brilliant. Now we've got a unicorn, we've got a Christmas tree, and last but not least, we've got the hat, which I don't need to do anything with. Let's just make it a bit smaller. It's going to have to fit on the unicorn's head. So don't worry. Now we want to place everything in Photoshop. And then once we've done that, we can start going into finer details, like changing colors, cutting out some parts of certain layers and overlapping them on other parts of layers. This is going to be interesting, right? So we want to start with our background layer, which is going to be the Christmas tree. So let's make this nice and big, not, not too big, but nice and big, right? And let's move it a bit to the left. Okay. Let's move this hat out of the way. So it's not in the way. And now we've got the unicorn. Now the way layers work are, you can see because the Christmas tree here is the top layer, it's going to be in front of everything. So we want the unicorn to actually be in front of the Christmas tree. So we click the unicorn and we drag it up. So it's now above the Christmas tree. And now you can see, it's above the Christmas tree, which is brilliant because now what we want to do is we want to make the unicorn a bit smaller or maybe a bit bigger than that. And we're good to go. Okay. That is okay for me. Remember, this is going to be for a sticker. You could use it on a t-shirt or something else, but for me, my intentions with this design is just for it to be a sticker. So in my mind, immediately what I'm seeing is I'm seeing it's, a, it's very overlapped. It looks a bit silly with it being so overlapped. So I'm going to do a bit of tweaking here and there and change some stuff. So first I'm going to get rid of these three dots. So let's minimize the unicorn. So I've got to see what I'm doing. I can zoom in. Now the thing is using the marquee tool here, which is this rectangular marquee tool using that won't work because it's going to take away a bit of the tree. So what, what can we do? We can use this lasso tool or polygonal lasso tool, and we can just make a shape around the area that we want to delete. So we want to delete that. So now we can just make sure it's selected and backspace. Brilliant. So now that's gone. Just thinking if there's anything else we want to remove. Nope. That's all pretty good. 
Let's bring back the unicorn. Okay, everybody, that's looking slightly cleaner, slightly better. The next thing we want to do is we want to bring the hat on top of the unicorn. Now, the issue is the hat is on the lowest layer. So let's drag the hat to the top layer and let's change the size of the hat now. Now the hat has been dragged to the top, we can rotate it just like this. We can make it a bit smaller. So I want to put it on top of the unicorn's head, but I need it to look good. So let's zoom in and let's see what we're working with here. So the fact that it's over that bit is good. I'm gonna delete that part of the unicorn in a second. And let's just hold shift, drag it out a bit. So the reason I've done this is so that it can go just to this black line over there. So it looks a lot more natural. And now I'm going to remove just the tip of that. So what we need to do to remove just the tip of that is a few different things we can do. We can use the normal paintbrush, right? So we can select a very small paintbrush and we make sure we're on the unicorn. So select an even smaller paintbrush and we want to make sure we match this white color. So what we'll do is we can select the color picker, which is this looking thing. And then we can select that. Now a quick shortcut for that is just holding down the option key. I'm on a Mac. So whatever the equivalent is on a PC, um, selecting that. And now we can just paint away this area so that when we put the hat back, it doesn't show through anymore. So in my mind, that looks pretty good. The, the next things I want to do is I want to kind of change some of the colors because I want it to be a bit more Christmassy. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the color of this hat to this red down here because I just feel like it will fit in with the theme a lot more and that red is just slightly too bold. So in order to do that, we're going to select the color picker, which again is option. And then we're going to select this red down here and you can see how I've selected it. Another way to do that is to click here once you've clicked down there, you can pick a color just like this. Right, now the next thing we want to do is we want to select all of this red to change the color of it. So how do we do that? Well, there's this really cool magic wand tool. So it just looks like this. And what we'll do is we'll just select the red. And can you see how it selects all the red that we want? It hasn't selected this darker red because it's a different shade of red. What this does is it selects the exact same shade. Okay, so once we've done that, we can get the paintbrush tool. We can make it slightly bigger up here. And we can paint in this red. Now, what we want to do is, because it looks a bit odd now, we want to actually change the other red. So let's zoom in a bit more. And we're going to go back to that magic wand and we're going to select this color. Now, as you can see, it selected this, but it didn't select this, this, or this tiny bit down here. Why is that? Well, that's because it's not connected. It has to be connected for it to see it all and select it all. But what we can do is we can right click and we can click similar, okay? And what that will do is see how that selected it here and it selected it down there. And now we can go back to the paintbrush tool and we could either do it in the same color, but we don't actually want to because this is gonna be some form of shadow. So what we'll do is we'll click the color picker over here and we'll just make it a tad darker. So we'll go down a tiny bit and now it's just a different shade of red. So now it still looks like it's a shadow and you can see how already it's a bit more of a muted red, but it just fits in with the picture so much more. It's not a harsh red. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to change the color of some of the unicorns, tail, hair and mane to actually match the tree. So we're going to hide the, let me rename this. We're going to hide the hat. And we're going to select, like we did with the magic wand tool, we're going to select the yellow, make sure you're on the right layer. So once we're on the unicorn layer, we're going to select the yellow. Now, again, like I said, we have to click select similar. So you can either do select similar or you can hold down on the shift key and you can see there's a little plus and you can select all the other yellows and it actually adds. And you don't even have to just select yellows, you could select the blues, you could select the that red square, you could select whatever you want. Okay, for now, I'm just going to do the yellow. So I'm going to do similar. And we're going to change the color of this to the green here. So let's go back to the paintbrush tool, we're going to hold down on option on the Mac, select this green, and we're going to paint over all the yellow. 
with this green. So in my mind, that looks just a bit better, but I feel like we can maybe make it even better. So this yellow here, that's what we're gonna change the blue to. So let's go back and select all similar blue. Option, select this yellow, and let's start painting the blue. So that's so far looking better. The whole idea of this, by the way, is just to make it look a bit more unique than the basic download from Placeit because the idea is I don't want anyone anywhere to have the exact same design as me and hopefully this way no one will. So the next thing I want to do is I want to see that little circle in the unicorn. I want to select that and I want to change the color of that to match the red. Lovely, okay, so let's bring the hat back and this is kind of what we're working with at the moment. So far, so cute. Now, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna add our words. So the words we're gonna be using are Christmacorn, right? And that is just to play on words of unicorn and Christmas. Again, I explained this in the previous video a bit more, but let's put those words in. We need to find a nice kind of bubbly-ish font and let's see if it works. So what we're doing here is we're selecting the, the, the T tool, which we're making a box and then we're gonna type in Christmas. Court. Now we probably can't see anything and that's because the size is too big. So we're going to do control or command A and we're going to make this a bit smaller so we can work with it. Okay, and now we want to just make this a bit bigger. So I clicked it and I'm using the scroll wheel to make this a bit bigger. I think that's a pretty good font. I like that font. So what I think I want to do is I want to put this a bit overlapped, but not crazily overlapped. So we'll put that there. One thing I really like is I like this white border, especially seeing as it's a sticker. I like having this white border around everything. So I wanna add that white border to Christmas corn. So first thing what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put Christmas corn at the bottom and now you can see it's overlapped by everything. So slightly too overlapped, I think. So let's select the move tool and let's just move it down just slightly. So it's only a bit overlapped. Right, the next thing we wanna do is we, we actually wanna change the color of Christmas corn. I kind of like the idea of making it green so what we want to do is we want to double click it and it will open up this layer style box. Okay, once this layer style box is open, we can do color overlay and we can click the color picker tool and we can actually pick whatever color we want. So we can pick the yellow, we can pick the, the green, we can pick the red, we can pick whatever color we want. So we're gonna go for the green because I feel like what that does is it brings it all back together because you've got green on the top, green on the bottom and it kind of all ties it in really nicely. So once we've done that, click OK. And now we wanna add that stroke. And a stroke basically is a border. So let's go over to stroke. And whoa, we don't want that size stroke. So what we're gonna do is that's max at 250. We wanna make that all the way down and we can change the opacity of it. We can change the color of it by clicking here. So we want to make it look like the other. Okay, so there we go. That in my mind is the same thickness as everything else. Awesome, awesome, that looks so cute. I really like that, I really, really like that. I'm gonna move it down just a tiny bit more so some of the S is showing. Now, what we can see is here, this is so far a solid sticker. I'm really liking the sticker. The only thing that's annoying me is I want something to bring it all together. So this gap here, I don't really like this gap because I'm imagining, and, and this gap here as well, when we stick it down on something, I want it to be fully white. Likewise with this gap here, right? We can just see little checkerboard gaps in places. So we're gonna use the paintbrush tool and actually fill that all in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the paintbrush tool. We're gonna use option and select the color. Again, I don't know what it was on the PC, um, but just click the paintbrush, click the paint palette tool here, and then you can go and select the white. And now we're gonna just literally make a new layer. So click this plus button at the bottom here and now this layer is right at the top. We actually want this layer to be right at the bottom. We don't want it to overlap anything. Okay, then we want to make the paintbrush a tiny bit smaller. And then we want to kind of paint it all in. Very, very simple. We wanna have it a nice curved edge so it kind of fits in with the, the vibe of what's going on here with all the nice curved edges. Fill that bit in, right? And this is what we've got so far. I think this is awesome. I really, really like this design. I just, 
look, it might not be amazing. It might get zero sales. You might hate it, and that's totally fine because this is all you know opinion based anyway. So the fact that you don't like it doesn't make a difference. Now we want to save this. So what we want to do is we want to click File, uh, Save As. We can name it so Unicorn Sticker, and we can save it as a PNG. Okay, and then click Save. And the reason we're doing PNG is it keeps the background transparent. It will keep. And I click OK, and it'll keep this background transparent. Now, if it's the wrong size, you can go into Edit, or you, sorry, you go into Image, you can go to Image Size or Canvas Size, and you can change the entire dimensions of this image. Likewise, if you want to get rid of any excess over here around the edge, you can go to the Crop Tool, which is just here, and you can crop the image. Very, very simple to crop. That is how I created this exact sticker using Photoshop. That's a full explanation, full tutorial. I'm not going to speed anything up. Well, you've seen it now, so you know I haven't sped anything up. But let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you want me to create more tutorials like this with maybe more intricate designs, whatever. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm all ears and I love making these kind of Photoshop tutorial videos anyway. So I'd be happy to make more of them. So thank you so much for watching. And again, if you haven't checked out the first video where I actually talk about this design, I talk about the steps to create a sticker, then go and check that out. The link will be up here. Thank you so much for watching.